No domestic garbage permitted. What the fuck, Chad? <laughs> on today's installment, we're going to be working on Chad's Dodge Ram doing the leveling kit. So I think it'll be straightforward. Stay tuned. We'll get to it. Yeah, hit it. Oh, I'm gonna break, break the nuts first. I have an impact, don't worry about breaking the nuts first. Oh, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Well, too bad. Why do you think <laughs> I spend money on all these tools so I don't have to f around? Okay, I'll jack up that. That's good. Yeah. Holy oh, shit. Feel how heavy that tire is. No, I don't wanna, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> I remember having to lift these at the tire shop. Nope, thanks. <laughs> so this is what we're working on today. We're gonna be installing these Motofab uh, leveling kit. These are two and a half inch lift. This is gonna give us on the front of the truck. Uh, these will be inserted right between the strut and right there. Um, at the same time, we're gonna be upgrading the upper control arms here to uh, aftermarket one that'll have a better offset for the additional height. Pretty straightforward. It's three bolts and a space. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I kind of figured. Okay, so Chad has some spacers here. Holy yeah, these are God. our wheel spacers that we're gonna put on after just to give us that wider stance because oh, I don't have enough offset on my tires at the moment. <laughs> they're bolt on. Yeah, they're bolt centric. So we'll bol bolt that onto here. They're what? Bolt centric or nut centric? Hub centric. No, sub nut centric. Well, then they're they're no hub. Like this isn't the size of the hub. This is the size of the hub. So this is hub centric. But in North America, we also have nut centric, which is these. They this, call it lug centric or whatever. Anyways, okay. it will make it so that the uh, everything's centered and yeah, balanced okay. properly. So this but is this the size is of the this hub. is the proper size of the hub here, so we don't have to worry about that. And anyways. then is this the same size as the wheel? Yes. So it's hub and lug centric. Yes. Yeah. That's the proper way to That's do it. That's the proper way to do it. Yeah. None of, none of that ghetto <laughs> shit anymore. I mean, back in the day with skylines and whatever. Yes. And then where'd you get these ones? Oh, they fell apart. Uh, these ones are KSP uh, upper control arms. So these ones, new ones, will be greasable once we put the bushings and the grease nipples in. And uh, this will give oh. us our better offset for the new lift. Oh, it's straightforward. It's just the two like yeah halves. You put, you them, put them together. The right side, put your sleeve in, and then put your nipples in and your grease. Okay, and then you tweak them. Yeah, and KSP. then after this is all said and done, obviously we'll have to do an alignment, and we'll be taking it into a shop to get that completed. So we have to disconnect. Um, I think we disconnect the upper control arm. We disconnect back here. Um, we disconnect the stablers. Really? Yeah. Uh, the ABS lines from the upper control arm and knuckle, hammer those out. Once we can get this free, drop it down. We literally bolt the new one to the top of this and then put everything back in and bolt it all together. All the tools needed are a floor jack, a jack stand, assorted metric tools, a pry bar and a hammer. Oh, what? <laughs> really? Well, I have a pry bar <laughs> and a hammer. You got to hammer the knuckles. You have to strike the sides of the knuckles with a hammer to separate the upper ball joint. I have a pickle fork and yeah. a puller. Just to, that, Cause that'll separate this part here, right? Thanks. Start taking it apart. I got the impact sockets. Yeah. You're taking the spray bar out first. Yeah, I'm just going to disconnect this brake line here. Okay, that's disconnected. Yeah. Um, we're going to just, you want to disconnect here first or the sway bar first? Where do you want to start? So literally, it's just to keep it from dropping. Yeah. So, control arm should go down now. Oh, do you need to put tension on that or? Oh, you know what? I bet you it's not going down because this is still has tension on it. So obviously you can see why I'm leaving each bolt in just in case it goes bang. Yeah. See how it popped? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, but you don't, it's not great to use pickle forks because they wreck everything. 
Luckily, while they chew the that. boot. Like, chew the boot and it's whatever. But... Yeah, the new one's got a new boot on it, so. Right, so this does work. <sighs> now, if you lower that, I bet you the whole thing goes down. See? So the only thing holding it is right here. Otherwise the whole thing would come in. Okay, just that's it, just lower it. And the sway bar will pop up. Hold on. You want me to uh, put some more tension on it? Yeah, a little bit. Like there's the part in the control arm, but then there's this back piece. It'd be easier if I pulled it off the back piece. Now do you want to lower it a bit? Yep, now lower it, because it's all nice and loose. Yeah, lower it. Yeah, so that's loose. We don't need to worry about that. Now it's just that top nut on the yep. upper control arm. Okay, so lift it again. So the ball joint ends up going straight the more tension you put on it. Okay, that's good, because now I can take this nut off. Right, so I'm going to hold the hub. And I'm going to lower it. Pump it a little bit more. So then as soon as this comes off, this whole thing is gonna come forward. See? Yeah, just, there so, we go. And then I'll lower it down, or do you wanna leave the tension on it? Well, I guess we have to drop it down, right? Yeah, just lower it. The whole thing will hang. Yeah. yeah. That's it. So literally, to pop it out, now you loosen the nuts. Yeah. And then three. somebody steps on this. And then we just drop it out and put the new one. Then. Okay, so do we get these from inside or no? Um, yeah, you can get it right there and then you can see them from right here. You just, this is where we need a step ladder to get up there. I don't know why Dodge does this weird thing where they put like the top of an engine harness right on top of the stud. Well, it's not just Dodge, I guess. Right, can you get the top ones up there? Yeah, I see them all. Do you? Well, they really, they idiots. They put harnesses on them. Is that That's what, what I just said. <laughs> yeah, they put harnesses on them. Yeah, it's off. I just need your, uh, an extension, whatever size socket that is. Probably <coughs> 17. Okay, so to give you guys a closer one. So the tie rod here was right inside there. So we took that off. We took the nut and the bolt off for this one and the sway bar mount. So this one would have pulled a little bit of tension on the control arm itself. So I got rid of those. Now everything is nice and soft. Well, not soft, but loose. So now we're just aiming to get these nuts up top. Are they 16? Yeah. Well, I have lots of extensions. Yeah, I needed the drill. Drill? Or I can use a ratchet. Dude, just big boy Milwaukee. That's what I said, you need that. Here. <laughs> Do you have an adapter? To drop what down do you inside? think I have an adapter? <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Come to Tony's garage and not think I have the tools. And then like cl a climb up the ladder to get in there. Looks like a machine gun. <laughs> so with the extensions, just be careful, just in case one of the extensions decides it wants to explode. <sighs> okay, so alternate them so it comes out nicely and evenly. Oh, I'm not gonna do that. Oh, that wasn't dead straight. Yeah. yeah, there's no tension on it, so just take the nuts all the way off. Yeah, and then I'll pick them with a magnet. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can reach my fat hand in there. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, I'm, I need to grab your nuts. Chad, <laughs> put your shaft out of the way. I need to grab the nuts. Stop, stop, stop. What's aggravating is you're making it so crooked. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Chad. There, now that I'm juggling your knots, I'll put those to the side here and we'll continue. Yeah, and then just step on it. Yeah, step on the, yeah, there you go. You got it. Put your purse down. Chad, do you want me to help you? Nope. Sure. You got it. <laughs> So now this is where we can install these. You're going to clean the top of that, right? Yeah. There's no way I'm going to. I'm just seeing that. if these are. And it should have. Uh, Must be these ones. Those three. 
Yeah, and then you put the nuts on top and then you put studs on the back side. I think it's supposed no. to be the opposite side, yeah. So they must have given you th threaded studs to put in there. These only, oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. And then these. Yeah, so we're gonna use red Loctite on those. Yeah, which. Permanent. Is... Oh, they're bolts. Wait, what? They're bolts. They give you bolts? Those will be the new ones. So those gotta go through first. Oh, okay. So oh, red Loctite. These ones will go in here. Yeah. Stop, uno momento. Uh, red Loctite's in the box. Come on, everywhere. You know, I have to admit though, the Dodge trucks have come a long way. They still haven't fixed their transmission issues, but. I learned that it's because they run off bands. It's not clutch packs, they run off bands. What are you doing? You have to cut the tip of it. I did. Oh, don't put too, too much. Like, well, I'm just looking at where the threads are gonna be because these are gonna go all the way through. Yeah, you just. But now I'm gonna have Loctite on the lower end and the top end because this is gonna go this way. And then that's gonna sit up like this. Jesus oh, Christ. It's all right there. Like a little bit of chill with the red Loctite, Chad. Well, red's not the super tight one that Locks blue is, isn't it? Or is it the other way? I can't remember. Red is the super tight one. Really? Because yeah, the red is for all my wheel red, nuts too on my wheel spacers. These are the ones that yeah. came from my wheel spacers. Yeah, because they're bolt on. It's so they don't back out. But to take them out, you need to use heat. So you need to use a torch. No. Yeah. I wouldn't be putting a torch on my wheel spacers. Yeah, that's exactly what you need to do. This is how much you should put. Like, it should cover basically, for the most part, two threads. Stuff like, yeah, that's it. Stuff like this, I would not want to. Uh, now. You got all three? Yep. Okay, here, put the cap on so it doesn't dry. And these only go on one way. Yeah, because yeah, they probably made that. The, way. Yeah. You and know why now, they did that, though? It's so you can't have this twisted backwards. Yeah. So people would put it backwards, and all of a sudden the strut and the camber and everything on one side is jammed. Yeah, socket. Yeah, that's a nylock nut. Which are right here, right? Well, the nylocks are so they don't back out. Oh, so that's these ones. Then these ones will go back on this one. Yes, because the nylocks won't turn sense. back with vibration. Yeah, okay. Hold it good. That's it. Now we can put her back in. After you Do you want to take this control arm first? Well, you can. Might as well. Yeah, here, I'll put that to the side. See, it's funny how they're like, yeah, you just need basic tools. Here, let me, let me kind of get a glimpse of everything we're, yeah, look at this mess. Cool. Oh. Yeah. Basic tools. Here, Chad. Because I can lift this back. This might work out okay. Oh, look at that. I'm going to need a backup though for this other one. Yeah, well, for the other one, you can <laughs> no, just use yeah. like vice grips, right? You know what I mean? Uh, I might be able to get them in there. I have skinny ones. Nice. I have small ones too. I have long pliers if you want to try just pliers. No! <laughs> yeah, so I don't know if I told you for the... <laughs> Are you tightening or loosening? Loosening. Oh, there it comes. Okay. Do you have your uh, little angle racket, ratchet? Your Milwaukee one that of I can put I on do. this? That'll, it's loose enough now, I can just throw that on. There you go. You just need basic hand tools, remember that. Because this will fit. I guess I didn't need this. Why? What? I guess it's a bracket there so that it it's it wedges? Moves. Yeah. So that you can just take it off on each side. Huh. Would you look at that? Could Dodge have done that's why <laughs> look at that. Did Dodge do something smart? Am I gonna have to get rid of my sign? Um, you think this will break it or do you think I'll have to do it? Huh. Loosen this one up, or do you think I'll have to manually do it first? Oh, you'll have to manually do it. Okay, where's that socket? I think I said manually do it instead of manually do it. Same thing. Same, same. Stop the abuse. Stop the tension. Spacer thickness and lift amount is not one to one ratio. What? Yeah. So because it's on an angle with this, uh, the spacer, the angle gives it the two and a half inch lift, but that's not two and a half inches thick. Oh. Damn. Attention. There's the old one. So these old ones are half metal, half plastic. They're garbage. What? 
Yes. Oh my God. So the new ones are full metal. Oh, it's literally a stamped U of yes. steel yeah. and then it's plastic. Yeah, it's dumb. So. <laughs> Holy sh. So if you were to hit like a curb the wrong way, say you wanted to go over a curb and this twisted. Or tried to actually use it for four by flooring and hit a rock. This or anything. This will be the one of the first parts to go. I want to throw it, but I don't want to throw it in here. Ah, uh, so now we can build our new ones. And as we can see, full steel, tube, much better. Is it lighter? It looks like lighter. Uh, yeah. Let's see. We need to hold them to compare them, but... This is pretty nice. The ball joints, actually, the ball joint on that's a little bit weak for being new. So, NECs, we're going to NECs this. So, the reason that one got stuck is because they don't put any NECs from factory. So, by chance, you're gonna, we're going to put a bunch of NECs on this. And when you put the bushings in, um, you know how to do that, right? Nope, never done that before. This will be a first. Da -da 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 -da. Gonna start with NECs. Look how. Oh, that's a serious ball joint. Are they upgraded or are they? Ah, uh, yeah, these are off road ones. That makes sense. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a bunch of anti C's on the threads. <clears throat> All right, put that on. Okay, so what we're doing here. So this is gonna be, I guess they call it grease. For some reason, I call them white lithium grease. I guess it's just bushing grease, whatever. So you're gonna get a splooge of this. I'm going to go around the bushing here, pop it in. I said pop it in. That's right. Another splooge. Just like silicone, it gets everywhere. I think sometimes what they'll do is they'll get you to put it right on the end and then smack it with a mallet. Okay, so the grease, it has a grease fitting here. So you'll be able to grease it up down the road. If you go off-roading, sometimes grit and sh will end up going Go through in. some big puddles. Yeah, big puddles. So this, we'll just take the rest, lube it up. Just like this. It's a tight, tight fit. That's what she said. <clears throat> Done. Is it? Yep. Okay, then. We just had to put it on something hard. That's what she said. <laughs> Wait, that didn't make sense. <laughs> All right, next one. It's so satisfying when they make that little, that little suction noise. See if I can just lube this one up just a little bit more than the last one. They give you so didn't they give you like two packs of this? Stuff? Yeah, one per side. We barely used any. Are you supposed to use a lot more? <laughs> no. <One> generous amount. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. There. All right. On Chad's tech tips. <laughs> Not that. Just a gentle push. <laughs> we don't need to bang everything. That's what she you're done. That's what she said. All right, let's go install it. Putting these together. It's all you. <sighs> yeah, so just finger tightening both of them and have it drop. There we go. Now we got her. Let's leave it a little loose this side. You know what the torque spec is? No. RFT. Torque to the upper ball joint. No, no. 70 foot RFT. Pound. Real f tight. Oh, for dog. These ones. <laughs> okay. Lubed up. That's done. That's done. Now I guess we can throw her back in. Yep. Now it's going to be longer. Yep. And I got to see which way those holes go. That way. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Step on it, Chad. Oh, wait. Yeah, I don't want to pull on my brake line that much. Yeah, so I'll just put it in and fit it through the studs. No, that was through the studs. Should be able to slide in. Let's make sure it's not pulling on the brake line. It is. Well, then stop. <sighs> okay. 
can't keep watching you fight this. <laughs> I've got this almost right here. There we go. Yeah. So if you want to start jacking the bottom. Is this going in backwards now? It spun it around 180 degrees. Yeah, I don't remember the sticker being out like this. Oh, uh, that says, yeah, reinstall the strut assembly. It'll only go in 180 degrees from the way it came out. Oh, yeah, That's, makes sense. Like that. Oh, ah! okay. Ah, <laughs> did it go back in? Yes. <laughs> I think I lost my finger. I think you pulled it back out though. After. There. No, it's in. Oh, I don't want to pull my glove off. You think it's bleeding? I know it's bleeding. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Out of sight, out of mind, right? Yeah, grab me the axes. I gotta look. Ooh. It's kind of turning black. Ooh. Yeah. And that was this one, I think. Oh, there's new ones for that. Um, I'm going to use the Milwaukee. Remember that torques to like 30, 30 foot pounds. Oh, gotcha. And rather than me sitting here like a moron. Uh, give this one pump. I just want to make sure, because what you want to do is you want to make sure the suspension is fully compressed. Yeah, because it's lifting off there now. Okay. Yeah, so it's fully compressed. So I'll start them down here, and then you can just blast them up top. So these aren't going to be anything crazy, so use that one. Yeah. All right. Can you get them? Yep. All right. Send her home. Yeah. That's it. Done. Okay. You said you have your torque wrench? Hey. You have your torque wrench? Yeah. Put it to like 72.8 foot pounds. <laughs> we need a stubby. No, we just need to not have put this in so I could have spun it. Like it, I can get it in. It just doesn't give me a whole lot of room. It's nowhere near. So I'm gonna, where's that ratchet for now? I'm gonna tighten it as tight as I can with the ratchet. And then, where's that 21? Yeah. Now it's close to 70. You can just try and do it right there. Yep. Apparently I'm just gonna ding your dust shield in the meantime. Are you sure yours is, works? I don't know, I use it all the time for all my tires. Hey. But it's being set to one. Oh, you never zeroed it out. What do you mean? You're supposed to zero it out all the time. Oh, I just throwed it back down oh. to 70. So, so I what could you be do? tightening it to like 200 for all I know. So what, you take it all the way down to zero? Every single time. Otherwise, it'll cause you nothing but issues. I just leave mine at 120 all the time because I only use it on my wheels. You need to zero it out every single time, Jad. Oh. See, I learned something new. Yeah. And that's what the channel's <laughs> about! Alright, where's the other one for the sway bar? Back there. Bye! Oh, what the hell? What size is this? Eight? Nine? Oh no, it's not that one. Here's a nine. Let's try it. And I got a seven. <laughs> uh, nine works. Okay. See, BMWs give you a little Allen, Allen portion for you to tighten it. This, they don't give a f They're like, what? You want to tighten it? Good luck. What's left? So that's tight. That's tight. Strut's tight. This is tight. Three bolts up top are tight. What's up? Dum, dum, dum. Should be it. Slowly loosen it. We'll throw that wheel spacer on. And then it's gonna be done. Well, for one side. Okay, wheel spacer. 
So how did you do it? Did you use those? Yeah, those these ones for on here. Yeah, these ones will go in the holes. Did you do any Loctite? We should do the rear ones. I didn't use Loctite on the rears. I'll do them next time myself later. <laughs> I'm not judging you. Yeah, I wanna see how far these stand out. Okay, so we're gonna oh, use a little you. bit of red Loctite just on a couple of threads, roughly where it's going to be catching. Come on, you. I've got two more bottles of that in here if you need. Do you? Yeah. No, we, we don't need. So what I usually do, fortunately it hasn't given me an issue, is just a drip just before where the nut would actually bottom out. So as soon as the nut goes over it, it's gonna squish it through the threads and it's gonna work. Now, don't go too crazy with the red Loctite. It can be some pretty rancid sh So if you go too hard, too much with it, it's gonna be a pain in the ass to take it off if you ever go to take it off. But in this case, we're only gonna use a little bit. This goes all over. So it's a good habit to start them a few threads so you don't end up wrecking the studs. I don't know how many times I've seen people take, they put this in the socket and then they blast it with an impact full tilt before yeah. it actually starts. Always good to get them started and then walk them up in the yeah. star pattern. The nuts just need a little bit of foreplay. And then do you remember what these get torqued to? Uh, hundred, um, well, yeah, probably the same on both. It's 120. Yeah, so you'll press the brake and then I'll tighten them. So would you like to set yours back to 120? The brake's already set. All right. Would you say brake is set? Oh, I was like, you set the brake? Oh yeah, uh, e-brake. It's an automatic one. I push the button and then it locks all brakes. Oh, it must apply pressure. Yeah. Really? Is this reason one to get a Dodge? Because there has to be at least one reason to get a Dodge. <laughs> Perfect. It's that time again, Chad, to put the big boy wheel on. So this is some China Loctite. <laughs> That's why it's probably not real lock lock stuff. If it was actual like Loctite, tight. I think it would be super aggressive. But the China Loctite, it tends to cure with the absence of air. So I've kind of got this down to a science. Hey, this is on you. You want to roll my chair in there? All right. Okay, lower it. Time to lower it. Just don't crush is there anything the underneath? <laughs> nice. Whoa. Isn't that a lot taller? Two and a half inches. It looks fun. Yeah, sweet. it should be the same as that back there now. It literally looks like you got a flat tire on the other side now. <laughs> now spin it around and do it again. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Okay, so that was the one side. Kind of fought with it a bit. I'm not really used to working on trucks. Everything's pretty heavy duty. I'm used to being able to manipulate things a little bit easier, like on a vehicle, you wouldn't have extra tension with the sway bar and oil springs and whatnot. So fought it a bit. We'll take care of the other side pretty quick. I can't imagine it'll take more than an hour and a half, I'll say. Yeah, hour and a half. So no point in filming that and having you guys sit through another however long. It's essentially going to be a copy and paste of this side. Make sure you have a bunch of Imperial wrenches and sockets. We ended up using a lot of metric stuff, but got it done. Anyways, see you guys in the next one.